Hello YouTube, welcome to, I think it's part four, forgive me if I'm wrong, it starts to be a blur. Okay, this is the part that's going to be the air intake. So we got our little uh, pictures of this, inch and a half wide metal, uh, inch and seven eighths to the center of the holes, there's a seven eighth spacing between the one inch holes. It came out evenly, so I have an even space there, there, and there. I just got lucky. This is 10 and a quarter inches long, or wide, I should say. We are using this setup. So we put our ruler up here. We're handheld, so we're kind of shaky. So we get the exact measurement, okay? And we're also using our $3 Harbor Freight Center Punch. Don't mind that wine, that's the dryer over at the house kicking on. So we're using that. So we'll. Be back when we get this all done, and you'll see some pictures after we cut the holes with the hole saw, etc., etc. So, stay tuned. Okay, real quick, we thought we'd show a little more as we got our El Cheapo Grizzly dial calipers. What we did is once we made our center punch, then we scratched the line, made it pretty deep, and you can feel that with the center punch. You'll feel when you get on that. This line's kind of double because that's just how I measured it when I'm finding the center of it. It's just how I scribed it this way and this way. So just find the center. It's, we're not machining here. There. Then take the center punch, which these are cheap. They can act up. And the center punch, what happens when you push down it, spires like that. And then we'll punch the hole bigger before we drill it. Okay, so that's what we did. We got our holes. Five holes. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think we're doing it right. Like I said, we got our little drawing. And I was going to show, we coated this with the big old king size sharpie. There's got like three coats on here. That would be better if I had blue, but black works good enough. So stay tuned. More to come. Oh yeah! Before you hole saw, drill your pile hole with your quarter inch bit. That's quarter inch bit. That way, you're not guessing where it's going to go. You know it's going to start right down the hole. See? Just a little tip. I'm not a know-it-all, but this works for me. Stay tuned for more. Moving right along here. I watched Mr. Pete 222. He's a retired shop teacher. Now he's a home machinist uh, running lathes, mills. If you don't watch him, you should. Uh, Mr. Pete 222 there. Shout out. I've got my goggles. I'm getting ready to start playing with the drill. And I swore I heard him yell at me from across the shop. Hey, blow up them shirt sleeves. So, I'm glad I have that in my mind there, see, for a mentor. But back to work. Can't get anything done by talking. Okay, a little quick tip. Find the hole, then tighten your table down. Your arm back and tighten your table so it don't turn. So find the hole, then tighten everything down and make sure the bit goes in and out. That's why you want your pilot hole first. And of course, make sure it's tight in the vise. Stay to, try to stay up close as you can. Everything rocking and vibrating. Okay, back to work. We're almost done. Okay, a couple quick tips. Number one, do not pick these up. Those are razor sharp without a glove. And I also put some cardboard down there to catch the mess. And once you just start cutting a groove, go ahead and put you some oil in there, cutting oil. Let's make you a little groove first. That way the stuff will fall. This is foamy. This is, I'll show you. See? It'll follow the groove. So batteries are low, time to take a break. So I don't have something cool to drink. But all five holes are done and they look pretty even. So stay tuned for more.